Now, time for lecture. Eh. Lecture was mainly physiology, and these are the most important tips. First of all, print out your PowerPoints and take notes on them. Seriously, guys, the first semester, I spent so much time just taking notes in a notebook and then rewriting them right after, and I learned nothing. I didn't learn much from that, and so that was kind of sad. I mean, I did learn it, but not as much as I learned this semester when I decided to print out my PowerPoints and take notes on them. A good example would be like this. So I would take notes and any like picture that was important, I would highlight it, circle it, and then print it out later on. And so I could view it a lot better. And you know, take the notes that I needed. So for example, this past test, we learned about the male and female reproductive system plus development. And I got the pictures that she said were very important and I just blew them up like this. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! See, stuff like that. So I just compiled that together and that was very helpful. Number seven, record your lectures. Now, yes, they're going to be very long, and I'm not telling you to listen to it all over again, especially if you don't have the time, but if there's something that you were confused about, or if you're like, oh no, I don't know if I wrote the correct notes down, then you can go back to your recording of your lecture and see what she actually said, what your teacher said, and that was very helpful. Number eight have study buddies. And when I'm talking about study buddies, guys, really do know these people and know if they are the type of learners you are. For example, I'm kinesthetic slash auditory, which is an interesting mix. By the way, you can look at your type of studying skills on the VARC, which will be linked down below. When my study group would practice, we would actually incorporate certain things that, or certain techniques that would actually help us learn. So we were given this study guide from our teacher and my friends and I, we would break it down and we had a Google document that we kept going. And so after every single lecture, we would go to our certain parts and we would type in everything that we needed to know for that certain bullet point. So this is just how like some of our study guides looked. See? Um, and then later on it was really helpful to have the same exact study guide so then we could all study together and know what we were talking about. We actually collaborated. It was really helpful. I liked that. Number nine. YouTube videos are your friends. I was having a lot of trouble with the menstrual cycle this past test for lecture. And instead of memorizing it, I was like, oh my God, I just, I don't know how to memorize this all cause it's so much. <laughs> but I watched a four minute video and I was like, oh. I had that aha moment. And I was like, oh my God, I know everything now. Ah, let me tell you all about this amazing friend how, you know, that time of month works. And so I could connect the dots and it really did help because what anatomy and physiology is all about is they really want you to learn the concepts and they don't want you to just memorize everything because you're only gonna learn that for the test and then it's gonna go away and you need this for your nursing courses. So please, you know, or any other science course you're taking, Please learn the concepts and not memorize. Number 10, and this is the most important one, guys. Seriously, have fun, but actually. Anatomy and physiology is really interesting, and you're gonna learn so much from it. You're gonna learn about why your body does certain things. It's a lot of fun telling your friends everything that you've learned. And also when I say have fun, there was, I said earlier that I was a kinesthetic slash auditory learner. And what my study buddies did 
was we decided to grab a soccer ball and just kick it around while quest or bleh, while quizzing each other about our study guide. And so I would be like, "Hey, random friend number one, you know what are testes?" And random friend number one would be like, "Oh my gosh, I know what they are. It's blah 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 blah." And then I would be like, "Oh my gosh, yes, or." Oh, well, you forgot one certain thing. So that really actually did help. And it helped a lot because you're just kicking a ball. And so you either know it or you don't. And my friend said, one of my friends said he learned so much by just doing that. So I highly recommend it. But guys, seriously, it's A&P. And it's really interesting. I'm not going to lie. It's really hard. But... If you're passionate about what you're learning and you want to do well, you guys are going to ace this. I believe in you. Holy. Sam, Dean. Bye before I get killed by a ghost.